Hey, it's Dr. Nussi from EasyDOTPhysicals.com, back again with another video. And this is probably going to be the most unique video that I've done on this channel up to this point. Um, I do all kinds of opinion videos on drug testing, and I recently did one on my opinion on if synthetic urine could pass or beat a drug test. So in this video, I'm going to put my money where my mouth is, and I'm actually going to test this theory if synthetic urine can actually beat a drug test. I'm going to go have a drug test performed on myself and try to use synthetic urine. All right, so the plan is that I am going to go to an independent testing center, someone that we are not affiliated with, an independent lab, someone that we don't use uh, when we do drug testing in our offices, and I'm going to just pay to have a drug test perform, a five-panel drug test, and see if I can get synthetic urine past all of their quality control methods and see if I can get a negative result. All right, so why am I doing this? So first off, I'm not promoting cheating on a drug test. I definitely do not condone cheating on a drug test. If you have a drug test, do not cheat. There can be serious consequences if you do. And also, drug testing is there, especially for safety-sensitive employees, for safety reasons. So um, cheating on your drug test, I'm definitely not advising that anyone do that. The reason I'm making this video is, and I've made a number of other videos say, uh, about how I believe that the drug testing system in the United States specifically, or anywhere where they use urinalysis as the standard for drug testing is completely broken backwards. It doesn't make any sense uh, for a number of different reasons. And you know, I won't go into all of them in depth, but things like it completely discriminates against marijuana uh, as opposed to other drugs because you can test for it for so much longer. And what we're going to test for today, and that is that really there is no integrity in the test. So I believe that since you can go in and give your sample, collect it and package it yourself and give it back to the person collecting the sample, that that introduces an opportunity away. It just swings the door wide open as far as an opportunity to cheat on the drug test. So that's what I'm testing today. So my opinion, and I've made this very clear in multiple videos, is that we need drug testing reform anywhere where we're using urinalysis uh, as the standard. So my belief is that things like saliva testing should be introduced instead of a urinalysis. It, it solves a number of different issues. One is all of the drugs, including marijuana, can be detected at about the same time period instead of having some drugs being tested. Uh, detected at a certain time period, but then marijuana multiple times longer. And then it also resolves this issue that we're talking about specifically today in this video. If you take saliva directly from a donor, there's no way that they can cheat or substitute that sample. So if you're like-minded and you f feel like we're overdue for drug testing reform, then please take just a second, click that thumbs up button, the like button, so that the YouTube algorithm can show this to more people. Maybe we can get some real change started. Please subscribe to this channel whenever the FMCSA or any other government agency changes standards or laws as it pertains to drug testing. I make update videos. I'll be the first one to know because I uh, have a drug testing collection center that I work in and operate every single day. And please share this with anybody that you think might find it useful. All right, so here is my plan. I am going to use Quick Fix. This is one of the more popular things that I've seen online. It's, seen, it's an all-in-one kind of package. It's got the synthetic urine as well as like a belly bag kind of deal, like a fanny pack kind of uh, situation. And it's also got a heating pack in there as well, so it'll keep it at the right temperature, hopefully. I mean, who knows? I could go in there and get busted. I do not know. Now, uh, Quick Fix is not sponsoring this video. They did not send me this. As a matter of fact, if they saw that I was using this, they'd probably get very upset because they market this not to beat a drug test. They say that you should not use this to beat a drug test. And I'll show you, hopefully you can read this right here. It says right here that um, this is a fetish product for no novelty purposes only. Similar to uh, what the Wizenator, I did a video uh, a while back on the Wizenator, how the Wizenator is marketed now as, as 
a kind of a fetish product, so kind of crazy. Uh, you know, they know what they're doing, obviously, and, and they know what people are buying this and using it for. But that is my plan. Um, we will see how it works. All right, so just one real quick update here. I just pulled in actually to the parking lot and um, something I didn't expect is I'm, I'm for whatever reason super nervous like my palms are sweating. Um, you know, I know there's really no consequences to this. Um, you know, the worst thing that can happen is that they're going to yell at me and say, you know, why did you do this and that kind of thing. You know, my job's not on the line. You know, I'm not going to go to prison if they bust me, you know, but I think it's just like being a kid and, you know, I, that's the feeling I get. Like, I just don't want to get caught and I just don't want to get yelled at. So I thought that was a um, pretty interesting um, kind of thing, a development that just happened kind of as soon as I saw the sign and I knew that, you know, now it's time to actually um, perform. I started really just getting nervous. So I thought that was interesting and, you know, I couldn't even imagine if your job was on the line how nervous you would actually be kind of in this situation so wish me luck here we go and um, I'll catch everybody uh, afterwards all right so just got done that was quick and easy and uh, so far it's passed the temperature check so it did pass as a real sample as far as the temperature goes um, one funny thing before I pull it out of the parking lot that I did want to mention is I was sitting in the waiting room just waiting to get taken back and somebody that I knew that I've actually done uh, testing on in my office was actually in the office and I recognized him and I kind of put my head down and he did not recognize me thank God he would have blown my cover um, so once I get back home and then get the results I will give you an update on if it was a pass or a fail but I did not get busted in the actual testing center which was really my uh, main concern okay so the results are in I have them right here and I just looked through them so let's go over what actually happened what the results were um, first the procedure it was very straightforward pretty much just like what we do in our offices for the five panel like the department of transportation drug testing um, the person that was doing the collection was very nice very informative but the big hole in the operation was again they let me go in and give my sample in a closed room um, and i was kind of fumbling around a little bit because i didn't actually know how to use the device and it took me like five or so minutes and it's not like they were in there over there banging on the door or anything trying to get me out um, of the room so they kind of just let me um, on my own to collect my own sample package it up and then give it back to them and here are the results so i don't want to throw anybody under the bus so i'm going to cover up the um, testing center's um, information and just show you the results because it's not the testing center's fault again people have probably slipped through the cracks um, in my office as well. So it's not the testing center's fault, in my opinion, it's the system at fault. Um, I am negative, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that, but negative for everything tested, the five panel drug test, including THC, marijuana, I was negative to all of it. So again, I'm, I did this, I did this little experiment um, to kind of just show the vulnerabilities of the current drug testing process. Um, in my opinion, our drug testing system, when it comes to doing your analysis, is almost like how they used to, and I don't know if they still do this or not, but when you go to an airport and they used to have to make you take your shoes off and scan them like everybody had a bomb in their shoes or something like that, it's the illusion of safety. Well, what we have here is the illusion of integrity because anybody with any common sense and 50 bucks, which is what the um, quick fix and probably very comparable other brands of synthetic urine including the belly bag pouch that goes along with it or whatever container that holds it you know very close to your body so it's under your clothes so they can't see it <clears throat> meaning the people doing the collection can't see it anybody with 50 bucks and any common sense can breeze right through a drug test so what is the point of drug testing if it's so easy to beat a drug test if I can just walk right in and um, use synthetic urine and they check it and the temperature is good and they uh, run it through their systems and it passes everything I, I just don't see the point of drug testing uh, in the manner that we have it I think we need to get to a point where we can close that loop and actually take the sample directly from the donor and my opinion would be that saliva, saliva testing would be best for that so 
Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, please share it with um, others so they can see this process. Maybe we can get some real change going. Like this video, stay subscribed. And until next time, everybody, stay safe.